Hey everyone, my name is Sherry and I'm the Academy and Community Lead at Easy Store. And this is how you can build your own e-commerce website with Easy Store. Okay, so how do you do it? So first thing first, what you gotta do is to recognize this sales channel in your own Easy Store admin panel. Okay, so if you have already logged in and signed up for a free account, this should be the this should be the first page that you will see your easy store admin panel dashboard so this is what i call the center for you to manage everything okay so the first thing is we need to enable the sales channel of online store okay so what you gotta do is you can see here channels okay as online store is one of the sales channels so you have to go to channels click on channels and then click online store look for online store okay with this icon blue icon and then once you click into this online store and then you click enable okay can this is the first thing lah. channels explore more channels look for online store and then click and click enable okay so with that to indicate that you are choosing online store as your channel to run your business once you have already enabled successfully your online store this is the thing that you'll be seeing online store the themes pages articles navigation and domains so these are the things that you can touch all right so if you look at uh, on the right side you can see theme store aroma so as mentioned that we have a lot of theme templates ready for you to choose and each theme actually has their own name okay so now i'm enabling aroma okay but of course we do have the flexibility as mentioned for you to choose other themes so you can scroll down and then click theme store once you click theme store voila so this is all the theme templates ready for you to choose okay so you can see a real okay so those that are on top are the latest one the latest theme templates and of course we have much more flexibility and features new features okay but also you can feel free to browse below to the other theme templates okay so these are the things that you can do there are 40 plus theme templates for you to choose like okay so each of them has a name we are going to try on the theme template of aroma okay which is uh, the new one uh, the new batch of theme template aroma in the middle aroma all right so once you click aroma already and then you will need to install the theme and then it will show like this in your online store section aroma that means that you are choosing this aroma theme template okay it will look like this theme store aroma you can view the demo to see how it looks like before you install it okay so no worries that once you choose it is that theme template already no but you can view a demo to let you see a preview and then you install so once you click install this will be the thing that you will see aroma okay so now we dive into creating your own e-commerce website with the theme template of aroma so what you're gonna do now is click customize okay so now we're gonna become the designer already <laughs> okay so you click customize and there you go this is the setting page for you to do any editing for your e-commerce website all right so of course there are a few things that you will need to take note of before you kick start is take a look at the top bar there the on top there you can see these three things okay so why, why am i going to like make sure that you see these three icons is because we do have uh, a lot of merchants that are very worried that uh, if I do my website it looks good on the desktop view but when my customers browse my same website on a mobile device everything will squish in and then maybe some images will you know place other place everything will compress like, basically and the quality is not as nice as the quality the view of the desktop view okay so no worries because now the easy store theme templates support mobile device as well 
Okay, so whatever things that you are doing, like you upload image or anything that you do, before you officially save it, you can take a look at the preview on how it looks like on a desktop view, how it looks like on the iPad view, and how it looks like on a mobile view before you officially save it. But believe me, as I mentioned, it supports mobile device, so it will look good on any device. We will make the layout suitable for any device in any sizes. All right, so you can take a look at that. So say goodbye to the worry lah. All right, and another thing is this one, the drop down. If you click on this home page, collection page, cart page, and product page. So what does it mean? Okay, because on your online store there are a lot of pages. Okay, once I click, it's the home page, and once I click one of the product, it brings me to my product page. So a lot of pages in one online store. So as you do like something like. If I want my whole website to be black color as a black a background, does it look good on my collection page, card page, and product page? So this is also a preview for you. Like for example, if we put the whole online store background as black color, then you can go to collection page and see whether black color is nice on my collection page, whether it is nice of uh, nice on my card page, okay? Whether it is nice for product page. So we Easy Store we have the features for you. Uh, we have the flexibility for you to check everything lah. Whether everything is nice and good to go. So every little details actually matters lah. Okay. So these are the things that you can play around. And of course, before you save it officially, save the whole settings. Feel free to click preview to see how it looks like. Okay. Maybe after that, when we uploaded our images and everything, you can click preview, and then take a look. Uh, whether it is nice or not, any additional things that you miss out. So once everything is good to go, then you go back to the setting page and then just click save. That means everything officially saved already. Okay, so don't worry. I will give you a preview one. All right. So now we will officially dive into creating your own e-commerce website with the theme template of Aroma. All right. As you can see, Aroma. As default, by default, we have these images ready for you. You can see the two plates of very delicious sandwiches. All right. So these are the guidance for you, how it looks like for each of the section. And of course, uh, I do have merchants asking me that: Is it must I run F and B uh, business only can use Aroma? Is Aroma only for F and B kind of business? No. Okay, we just give you a default, give you a guide only. So even if you are running a fashion thing or maybe you are selling stationery, you can use Aroma as well. Okay, so no worries about this one. This is just a guide for you to see a how it looks like. All right. So now let's take a look on the left side. Is the whole thing the layout of this whole Aroma? Okay, of course different templates they have different kind of layout and the contents that you can do. Okay, but now this is aroma. You can see there's header, body. That means the body content, image banner, rich text, featured collection, video collection list, multi column, and then the footer, and then the other additional settings. So it's basically just from this left bar here, you can do everything from head to toe. All right. So now let's go to the head. Everything start from the top first. So if you want to do the header, so what are the things that you can actually do? Click on the arrow, and there you go. Header meaning is the top bar. You can see the aroma logo, and all this. So this is the thing that you can do the header. All right. So there are a lot of a uh, very detailed kind of ad, uh, settings that you can do. All right. But first thing we do is the logo image. So how are you going to upload it? Very simple. Click on Change Feature Image. Okay, we are going to change our logo image. So you click, and then you can click Upload Image. Okay. Click the image. Click Upload Image, and then upload a file. Give it some time to upload, and then click Add. And give you some time to refresh, and because it will show you on the spot on the right side. Okay, so it's additional info for you. Whatever things that you do on the left side, give it some time 
uh, to refresh and then you can immediately see how it looks like on the right convenient right okay so you can do the adjustment as you go all right so just now i have uploaded my logo image so there you go my logo is there okay so what are the things that you can do how big is the size of your logo you can also do that okay and even that maybe some people they want their logo to be in the middle of the top bar center so you just click center give you some time to refresh and boom there you go so this is how it is but for me i think it looks good on the left side so i'll change it back to left side all right so this is the logo the first thing and then the top bar color okay and also the text color so every time when you want to change color very simple you click on the square all right you click on the square and then you just choose the color your preferred color you can move around and then choose the color okay simple one for me maybe i choose purple so until you choose that specific color that you want then you click ok all right and then there you go this is how you can change the top bar color okay and the same goes to the text lah. you can click on the square and then click ok give it some time to refresh and this is the magic here like this okay so this is how uh, what what are the things that you can do for your header the logo the top bar color and the top bar text color okay this one very quick one so we are done with the header so once everything done ready you can click back the arrow all right and then we go to the body the content huh? this is the most exciting part for me eh? okay so first thing we're going to do is image banner okay so do not worry that maybe some not not many of us know that oh image banner is how how is an image banner so once every time you click into image banner we will straight away show you the default okay which part of the website that you are doing so this is why we have a default image and also uh, some words for you already so that you will know which part that you are doing the editing okay so when we click into image banner these are the things that we can play around text heading button okay but firstly it's the look and feel so we are going to start with the image to catch your customers attention so we go to settings okay remember this one ah? settings click there you go the two plates of delicious sandwiches is here so this refers to the image on the left and image on the right okay so let's just assume that i'm going to turn this whole aroma team template from an f b to a fashion industry kind of business i'm gonna change this whole thing 360. so what i'm gonna do is change image same thing click change feature image and then click upload image and then click upload a file and then i click add and give it some time to refresh and you can see your image banner uploaded successfully okay so you can immediately see how it looks like okay for the image on the right add. okay give it some time to refresh and there you go so this is your image banner okay quite a lot of merchants actually uh, really like this image banner because once everyone visit a website um, the image is a thing the visual is a thing that I want to see like immediately you are telling your customers or any visitors what your business is about what are the things that you're selling from through this image so this is the image banner okay so once we are done with the image and now we go to the text as you can see the text now is what eat good do good food with a smile it doesn't make sense so we are going to change the word we start from the heading so once you click on the heading you will know ah food with a smile so this heading that i'm doing is according to this one okay i'm doing with the food with a smile thing so let's change it to fashion with a smile all right same thing whatever that you're doing give it some time it's just a few seconds for you uh, for it to refresh and you can see and then the size maybe you want a very very big word right in front of your face then you can do it like this okay and of course when you have the heading you can do the text 
eat good, do good, or something like that. Okay, so must like for for example, some merchants they only one heading. I'm fine. I don't want another text. Okay, so can I remove the text? You can always remove block. Okay, you can remove it. Maybe you don't want a smaller words, so you can just click remove, and then there you go. Only the heading, like this. Okay, but of course, maybe suddenly you feel like, ah, yeah, I want the text. I feel like adding a text is better. Of course, you have the flexibility. You're in control. You can click add block. You can add whether you want to have a double heading, or double text, or even double buttons. Okay, it is fully up to you. You can always remove and also add. Okay, and also button. So this is some type, something like call to action kind of button. Like for example, fashion with a smile, shop now, shop all, get it now. So all these things are the things for your customers to click. So of course you can create your own button. Maybe now as default is shop all, but I want to say shop now. Okay. So you can the button link is like when they click on the button, it will link you to your other pages in your online store. Okay. So maybe you want once they click on the button. You want them to link it to your bestseller collection page or bestseller products. Immediately, they can see it. So this is your image banner. So basically, just pop pop two images and then heading, or maybe a little words text and then button. Shop now. This is your image banner. We go to the second one. Rich text. Okay, rich text refers to which one. So once you click. It will bring you to this part, best food stories to life, and then below there, there are words there. So this is the rich text, okay? So it is fully up to you whether you want to have this rich text or not. Because some merchants, uh, maybe they want to say something like "Hi, welcome," or anything about their business they that they want to tell their visitors, okay? So for me, same thing. I will put like best. Fashion stories to life, and then the heading size. You want extra large, or you want grande? Okay, so it is up to you. And then the text. Okay, so maybe you can say something like "best fashion stories to life," and then the text you can say that like, "welcome to my store." Uh, you can get a lot of very hot, like trending fashion things here. Okay, so it is fully up to you. But this is the part where you can do rich text, okay? Only text only, alright? This one very quick, very simple one. Rich text. So once we are done, we move to the next one. Featured collection, okay? So featured collection, what is this? So once we click featured collection, you can see these four blocks. One, two, three, four, alright? Then you can put the heading. Choose collection, collection per row, product display. Okay, no worries. You can see that these settings might be a lot, like quite a lot compared to the other two, but we will do it together. When we talk about featured collection, let me give you an example. For example, sometimes when you go browse some seller's website, the first thing that you can see on their web homepage is new arrival product, best seller, our hot deals. So these are the products that you can see. These are their featured collection where they want to let their customer to see immediately once they browse the website. Like, hey, uh, these are my new arrivals, hot deals, hot deals, things like that. So you can do that, do that, do that as well. For example, for example, uh, I want to let my customer to see that I have hot deals or bestseller products. So we can put new bestseller products. Okay, so this is my featured collection section title. So you can see like this. Okay, you can see the title there: new bestseller products. Okay, so now we have the name to let them know already. So now is the time to uh, do the settings of what are the products to put under this featured collection. Okay, so we can click choose collection. Once we click choose collection. Then you can actually browse and select the collection, the product collection that you have uh, created in your Easy Store Admin panel. Okay, so I put new arrival. I select new arrival. Give it some time to refresh. 
and you can see the products under the product collection of new arrival okay so these are the products are my new arrival, uh, arrival products that I want them to show uh, to be shown on the home page and to let my customer know that hey these are the new best seller products that I'm selling right now so you can see this is called featured collection but of course it is fully up to you on what are the products that you want to show uh, as this featured collection it can be best seller or maybe sometimes like Mother's Day special, Father's Day special, you can also do that. All right. So once we have it, the collection ready, of course, there are little things that we can do. Collection per row and how many product display per row. Okay. So you can do all the changes. You can see how it looks like. Ah, you can see three products per row it looks much more organized like this so these are all little things that you can do you can edit to see the look and feel okay and of course the image ratio as you can see now the product image is shown as like a square like that so if you want to do something add a little spice maybe have some pattern a bit like you can change it for example circle Okay, my image ratio, I want it to be circle. And then you scroll down, there you go. You can see that the, the way that they display your product on your home page looks very different as you do your editing. So we do have the features and options for you to play around and choose. So now we got the image that catch your visitor's attention. We got uh, maybe a greeting message to welcome your customers and also the products that you are selling all right so what's next we talk about video okay video so it is not necessary that every website will have a video but if you do have a video for example that even if i'm selling a like a fashion clothes maybe i want to let people to see the models okay the photo shoot of the models wearing my uh, my clothes so these are the small little things. Maybe your business has something like a behind the scene or the making of. So just feel free to let your customer know about you through this video. Because what we have is a video section for you to put into your website. Okay, so just assume that I do have a video. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch their attention with a video title. So they click into the play button. All right, so for example, we do something like the making of something like that okay to catch the attention all right a title there you go the making of you can see the title on top all right and then we will need to upload an image image here is like the thumbnail a thumbnail of the video all right so for example i'm going to change the thumbnail same thing every time when you want to upload an image the procedure is the same click and then click upload and then upload the file and then I click add give it some time to refresh because it will show you how your thumbnail will look like like this okay so we have the title of the video we have a thumbnail image and then of course the most important thing is the video all right so this is the note that uh, is important for you guys to know that if you want to upload any video on your home page make sure that video is uploaded into your own youtube channel first okay so you have to upload it into your own youtube channel and then you copy the youtube url link of that video and paste it here okay like this you can see youtube video url okay so what your customer will see is like oh uh, i want to know about the making of so i click the play button and then they can either straight away watch that video on the home page itself or they can watch it on youtube if you, they click youtube of course they will link it to your youtube there all right so this is how you can do if you want to add video into your home page okay so there are little things that you can do you can see this full width and also let's see this one full width meaning is 
服。Then, if you untick the full width, meaning it's like a box like that, that means that it is not covering the edge, the side there. Okay, so it doesn't look very nice. So I'll just take it full width, and then you can see the difference. There you go, like this. Okay, nice. So this is how you can upload a video. That means put a video. Onto your home page. So once we done the video, we have another thing which is collection list. Okay, collection list. Let's see. This is your collection list. So a lot of merchants actually ask me, Sherry, what's the difference between collection list and featured collection? Aren't they both also collection? They are same same, but they are different. Okay, featured collection is like something like um. Mother's Day special, or something like you want to feature it on your homepage, but collection list it is up to you. It is something that maybe you want to show to your customer more products that you are selling. For example, uh, if you are selling F and B, maybe you can put a collection list of appetizers, main main meals and dessert. So we you have three collection lists to show on your homepage. But for me, if I'm running a fashion industry, I can put something like party wear, office wear, and what uh casual wear. So these are the few things in different categories already. So you can you can actually you are giving your customers to have the chance to actually see what are the things, what what else that you are selling through this homepage itself. So you are telling so many things to your customers on the homepage itself. Okay. So, for example, if you want to do something collection list, let's try to do the first collection list. I can click on the collection, and then I choose the collection. Same thing as the featured collection. Once you have already created your own kind of product collection, then you can always come back here and choose the collection. So maybe I want to choose hot selling. So once you scroll down, you can see, tada! So these are the products under my. Hot selling pro, uh, product collections. You can see the name is also here. Hot selling. Okay. So of course, like I said, if you are F and B, you have appetizer, main, main course, and also dessert. Feel free to do it so that it will show here. Okay. So this is the first collection list. Why not? Let's try a second collection list. And new arrival. For example, okay, and then you scroll down. You can see there are two collection lists here. Tada! Like this. Okay, so just assume lah. Assume that I'm selling uh casual wear, office wear, party wears. So you want to let people to see. Okay, so you can do party wears and then casual wears, so they can browse the products just from your homepage itself. Okay. So you can definitely add more, alright. Maybe not just two collection lists. Maybe you have more things that you want to show. Just feel free to click add block and then add another collection list. Okay. And then now maybe you'll be asking me that Sherry, I noticed that the title of this collection list is menu. Okay. So don't worry. You can actually change the title of your collection list. This one. So what you're gonna do is go to settings, click on settings. Haha, <laughs> there you go. You can see now the heading now is menu. So just change it to something like our products, for example. Okay. So now I change the title of the collection list, and there you go. Our products. What are the collection list? Everything organized, nice, nice here. Okay, so same thing. Uh, the the other settings are actually quite similar to the featured collection one. So meaning that you can actually be in control of how many collections per row, how many product display, and of course the image ratio. Because the product image in our featured collection, I have changed it to a round shape. So of course I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> so same thing. Let's make all this product image circle. Okay, make it round. So you scroll down. There you go. 
here. Okay, so of course uh, we have merchants asking me that I, uh, maybe I don't want to show too many collections just on uh, my homepage. Maybe just either featured collection or collection list is enough. Of course you have the flexibility because you're in control when designing your own website. Okay, so same thing. Aya, wait, huh? Later I will show you how to add section and remove section. Okay, so now we have three collection lists. So this is your collection list area. Okay, we are almost there already. We are halfway there. Just take a look. We have totally changed the original Aroma version 360 to a fashion kind of website. Okay, but of course, I believe that you can do better than me. <laughs> okay, look at my website. <laughs> Alright, so we have the image banner, we have the rich text, we have the featured collection, we have the video, we have the collection list, and then what's next? Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is multi column. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we have browsed quite a lot of websites and sometimes we will come across this kind of layout. Multi column. You can see this one. So if you are a blogger or is there anything that you want to tell more to your customers, feel free to utilize this multi column. Okay, basically whatever layout that we have is having the ability for your customer to stay in your online store longer okay because i can if i can share with you like people are not that patient anymore especially online they browse fast fast then if they didn't see the things that they want they just go so what we have here is we will, we will be giving you all this feature to keep your customer to stay in your store longer with all this feature where you can input as many things that you want to tell to your customers okay so this multi column i'm pretty sure that we are familiar with this kind of layout so what we're going to do is same thing got three columns here if you want to have more columns you can add more anytime or if you only have two columns you can always remove remove the column maybe only two multi column okay but what we are going to do here is we're going to change this multi column so we're going to change the first column click it same thing image is always the first thing that i will do because i want to immediately see how it looks like so the first thing i'm going to do for sure is to change the image so i click change image same thing click upload image and so you just click add give it some time to refresh and then you will see how it looks like how it looks like on your online store Ta -da, like this okay and of course you can change the title okay maybe it's not healthy maybe like I said just now maybe I put office wear and then the text maybe you can say something about uh, your office wear like what's so special about your office wear kind of fashion things like that and then you can also add a link url okay maybe there are so many things that you want to tell your customers but it's it's not possible to put everything fit into this multi column it will be too wordy so if you want them to browse more maybe link it to other places where they can continue to read more feel free to do that and now of course moving on we're gonna do the second column okay same thing image comes first okay. maybe i ocd a bit la. <laughs> I, I need to make sure that no food is visible on this website okay and then after that the title title maybe we put casual wear casual wear and then the link text or link url okay so it doesn't really uh don't really have to must have a read more button to lead them okay maybe the first multi column i will have this read more but the second one i make it short and sweet so it doesn't have a read more so you can just leave it blank okay and then we do the same for the third column okay it's very fast to build your own e-commerce website when you have the idea already okay and, and i'm very glad that i'm here today to teach you so hopefully to give you some idea on how you can design your own e-commerce website okay 
And once you're done all the columns already, of course, there are other things, a little details things that you can do. For example, the title of your multi-column. Every section will have a title section for you to put. Maybe it's not recommended. Maybe you can say something like, uh, what to wear. Okay. You can play around with the title as well. Sometimes title really can catch people's attention. Okay. So you can see, this is my multi-column. My multi-column title is what to wear. So maybe your visitor will see, hmm, I also don't know what I wear. So they can see your multi-column. We got office wear, we got casual wear, we got, we got what? We got party wear. Okay, so we can change it. Party wear. Okay. Ta-da! So this is like it. Okay, and then after that, other things that you can play around, of course, is the image. How big your image, you want your image to show. What's the image ratio? Maybe this one you want circle as well. Okay, so all these are the small little details that you can play around. So there you go. This is the multi-column. So we have done image banner, rich text, featured collection, video collection list, multi-column. Look at all this content that you have just on your home page. Alright, you can basically tell, straight away tell your visitors what you are selling, what's your business about through this home page. And of course, there are merchants who ask me the next question. Sherry, what's next? What are the other things that I can do? You can click this add section. Okay, once you click this add section, maybe you have a lot of things that you want to tell. Feel free to select and add the additional layout. Okay, so for some merchants, they want to have double video double featured collection or double slider can i do that the answer is yes you can do that okay all you need to do is add section and then click what is the layout that you want so we are try we are going to try to do this slider so you click add section and then you click slider give it some time to add in and then you click slider so what is this slider okay now you can see this three dots here maybe you still don't know what is this slider so what you gotta do is slide one two three okay i'll show you what is this slider slider so the first thing you're gonna do is upload image same thing and then i click add as i mentioned slider is something that you can slide left or right so of course i have more than one image for me to slide if not there's no purpose for this slider. Give me a few seconds. I'll show you this magic. Okay. Maybe I don't want the third slide. Only two slides is enough. So I can remove the third slide. And then give it some time to refresh. And then you scroll down. This is slider. Ta-da! This one. This is your slider. So some merchants, maybe they have something like uh, I, I got a lot of very beautiful image that I want to show my visitor, my audience. So this is the thing that you can do. Slider. So slide number one, slide number two. Take a look at that. Okay, so this is the thing that you can play around. Slide one and slide two. Okay. And then of course there are other settings they can do. What is the title of your slider? Maybe I can put our models. And then you can see, right, the slider now is like a square right in the middle. It doesn't look nice. Because I want the whole slider to cover the edge, both sides. So what I'm going to do is I just take full width, give it some time to refresh, and you can see it looks so much better. There is. Look at that. It looks so much better, right? It's like covering everything. So you can slide lah like this so you can actually compile nicely all your beautiful images and then put it as a slider so they can slide okay so your website will not shown as very long or very like a lot of things inside okay so this is the slider so there you go okay so these are the things one two three four five six seven you got seven things plus the header and the footer so just the body part itself the body section, you can see so many things. 
All right, you got the image banner. Okay, you got rich tags. We got featured collection. We got what else? We got video. We got collection list. We got multi column and of course slider. Look at that. Some website, okay, maybe they will show image banner as the first one. And then it is fixed there, locked there. That means no matter who use Aroma, image banner will be the first thing. But now we have this magic feature called drag and drop, meaning that you have the flexibility to decide whether you want image banner or rich tags or whatever section to be in which section within your homepage. For example, now you can see that slider is the very last one already bottom already bottom part of your website but you feel like you want the slider to be the top one the first thing that your customer will see once they visit your website can i do that yes okay this is a feature of drag and drop i can show you now i'm going to move the slider from the very bottom to the very top so you can see every layout beside there they have these eight dots you can see one two three four five six seven eight and you can see your hand there this is called drag and drop click on it click on the eight dots and then you can see slider is highlighted you can see and then what you're going to do is once you click you hold it and then you drag it until to the section that you want you can see it moved already so whatever section that you are going to move we will highlight it in a blue frame on the right side for you to see and to let you know that hey you are moving this section eh, like this so you can see once i click i hold i drag until to the top part i let go there you go slider become my first thing that i will see the first layout that i will see when my visitor visit my website okay so we have done the head the body and of course now we are going to the toe footer so this is the footer part okay so you can click and then you see quick links and about us our mission this is the footer okay so the, these are the little small things that maybe you want to let uh, your customer know so some merchants footer la, footer always we can see are a bunch of social media platforms because we want our customer to explore us more on other platforms okay so you can click quick links all right or you can click about us so maybe it's not something like our mission you want to change it something like uh contact us something like that or explore more all right and then you can see ta -da, like that okay and then if you want to link them to your other maybe you have a twitter uh tiktok facebook it's under about us Ah, see ya. social media TikTok, uh, twitter facebook instagram tiktok okay so you can copy your facebook page the link and then you just paste it here so once your customer click on the facebook icon at the footer there straight away bring them to your facebook page okay all right so this is how you can gain your followers yeah and then of course there are other merchants who ask me like sherry i don't have tiktok but you have a TikTok icon there or how ah? okay if you do not have a TikTok you can just leave it blank or maybe you do not have an Instagram leave it blank okay and then you can see the difference like that you can see if I leave the the section blank because I don't have TikTok or maybe I don't have Instagram okay then the uh, the icon will not show okay so make sure that to leave it blank lah. okay but what we have here is we have all the social media platform for you to choose okay so do we do have the flexibility there and of course the footer here when you click the settings okay let's take a look at the payment method so it's good that you let your customer to know what are the payments that you are accepting okay so as you can see here by default we have visa master american express paypal diners club discover our payment methods okay so it is up to you maybe you do not have paypal no worries you can untick paypal okay we just show you by default lah. okay you can untick paypal same thing P 
PayPal icon will not show there already. Okay, but other question that I received is like, I see that the, uh, the selection here doesn't have the payment method that I'm using. For example, it doesn't show IP88 or PayX. So how to show IP88 icon to let my customer know that uh, you can pay via IP88? You can see this one, payment methods. Once you click this payment methods, it will follow to the payment methods that you have successfully integrated in your EVS or admin panel. Okay, just now our top part is purple color. Of course, we're going to do the same thing for the footer. Same thing, the background, I'm going to use purple. Okay, like that. Let me see. Yeah, purple, purple. Okay, I click OK. And let's wait a few seconds to see the magic. Ta-da! Like that. And of course, you can change the color of the heading text. Body text, same thing, white color. Okay, so this is it. And as mentioned, you can actually see the preview because whatever I'm doing now is based on the view of a desktop, how it looks like on my desktop, is it looks nice on my laptop. But now you can see how it looks like for iPad, how it looks like for mobile phone. Okay, so no matter whether your customer is using a mobile or iPad or desktop to view your website, believe me, everything is supported and then it fits perfectly like this. Okay, so also you can see the preview. Preview, once you click preview, basically we are showing you from the perspective of what your customer will see exactly the same of how your customer will see your website okay so you can scroll down whatever that you have done it will show like this so you can see you can uh, stand in your customer's shoe and see from their angle does it look nice is it attractive enough will the things that i show uh, makes me want to purchase from you so all these little details thing lah. okay and once everything is done you can click click save and then it will show you update theme successfully. So that's how you can build your own e-commerce website. And again, my name is Sherry and I'm the Academy and Community Lead. Thank you for watching. Bye.